Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Nixon Ultra Tide. Uh, it's what I believe is the first ever smartwatch created exclusively for surfers, and it does that pretty well actually. Um, you have here a steel case in sort of a um, silicon enclosure, um, and of course, um, as a surf watch, it's something that you are meant to be able to swim with. And so, of course, a lot of smart watches are a lot more delicate. This has a nice durable feel to it, um, and you can obviously go surfing and swimming with it and, and just be fine. Um, I forget exactly, um, I just put this on. I want to check what the actual water resistance is. I think it's like 100 meters, but let me check. Um, never not know, huh? I guess. You know, I can't even see, yeah, 100 meters. So 100 meters water resistance, that's, uh, you know, I don't know the, the water resistance of every single smartwatch out there, but um, that's that's gotta be up there. So again, if you, you can't go diving with this, but if you wanna go swimming with it, um, by all means and surfing, which is, you know, you, you get a lot, of, uh, a lot of water force there. So if you're looking for a smartwatch to go swimming with, this is it. Um, it's actually a cool looking watch. I think it's kind of neat futuristic look. Um, the black and red, you know, is, is nice. It's very comfortable. So if you are, you know, swimming and things like that and you like something flopping around, I like that. Nixon apparently came up with this little design where you flip, there's a little piece here that sticks into the loop, which secures it in place, which, um, which is nice. So the watch itself only has three buttons. There's a button here and a button here and here, and you actually have to push them hard or kind of the right way. They're kind of a little finicky with the buttons, but um, that's not too big of a deal. Once you get used to it, it's not that bad. I'm just gonna clean it off there. There we go, nice, nice and fresh. So what you're looking at right here is some information about surfing. Um, Nixon did a partnership with um, a surfing intelligence company called Surfline. I'm, I'm not sure, I guess it's a, it's a, it's essentially a, a, a tracking tool which tracks um, surfing um, areas all around the world, tells you wave conditions, tide conditions, temperature, things like that. And so what the, what the watch essentially does is it integrates with an app on your phone and it shows you the Surfline data in real time. So what you do is you can set certain surf locations that you wanna monitor you can have it like geolocate, so it can tell you places nearby where you are, and you can do that automatically. Um, and essentially, it doesn't do too much more than that. So you have the time here. Um, that's uh, Swami's, which is actually a place in Encinitas um, down near San Diego where uh, Nixon's located. So that's, that's the preloaded one there. Um, there's Santa Monica Pier. That would be near me. And you can see here, for example, er the information is relatively logically laid out. You see when it was last updated, the location. Um, the height of the waves, one to two feet, a little chart here showing um, where the position is and if the waves are going, if the tide is going up or down. Water temperature, um, exterior temperature. Um, here's, th there's a, that was the other screen. Go back here for a second. Um, you go, click here for more details and then you have some data for the near future. So it's telling you at various times in the day, high tide, low tide, and sort of the, uh, the height um, of the waves. Actually, it looks like Santa Monica Pier would be a terrible place to go surfing. You go to tomorrow and you can see things like that. So that's actually really cool that you have all the information available to you. So the idea is if you are surfing, you wanna know where to surf, you wanna know when, you wanna know what the waves are gonna be like, you wanna know the temperature so you know what to wear, are you gonna need your wetsuit, what kind of wetsuit you're gonna need, what kind of surfboard you're gonna need. There's various different things like that and having this information right on your wrist will tell you. Now, you could be saying to yourself, well, why don't I just have that in the phone that's going to be easier. Well, this is something you can actually surf with. You can wear in your watch. You can have alerts and things like that, which is cool. Other little features, for example, here are um, you can start a, you can start a surfing session. Um, it'll record uh, certain elements of that. You have a heat timer. Um, I, I'm actually not a surfer, so but I imagine this has to do with. Um, uh, so, something about being in the water, if it's too cold, you don't want to get too cold, which in California is an issue. Um, I could be completely wrong in that one. If I am, by all means tell me. Um, I'd like to surf sometime. Um, I probably should since I live and grew up in Southern California, although the water is, is definitely cold here. And then you have here some other information um, uh, that relate, related to surfing. For example, uh, there's a, Surfline has a scoring system, so it says FAIR. Um, this is in, in Swami's, which means that Probably not the best time to go surfing. Um, it has, 
different types of, of ratings and things like that, like Epic and, and, and things like that, so that you know. So a lot of very handy information right at your fingertips. I'm going to show you the app itself here. Um, you can see a lot more information actually available here. Well, it's, not actually, it's actually the same information, just a little bit easier to read. Um, this and you get forecasts, weather, things like that. And it's all it's all part of Surfline. Now Surfline has some free stuff on their site, but for the most part, you need to be a member. So it's kind of like a little bit of a, I guess, a free membership by buying this watch um, and then downloading um, the app. And on the app, you can you can change all the various settings and things like that. You can browse spots, which are surf spots. You can you can do various things like that. Um, not the best app in the world. I wouldn't say it's super user friendly, but yeah, it, it basically gets. So I go to the nearest, the nearest spots. Let's see here, what does it have? Apparently nowhere. Apparently there's nowhere worth surfing here in Los Angeles. Um, I guess I would have to play with the settings and things like that. You can set up alerts. So if you want to have, for example, um, like notifications that, that waves are a certain height or that something is coming, you can add alerts. Let's check that out. So yeah, here's, you can do height. Um, looks like there's various different settings you can do here. Wind direction. What do we got here? Wind speed. Looks like there's a lot of kind of interesting things you can do there with the alert. So it looks it looks useful. Again, the Ultra Tide is for surfers. If you are not a surfer and you're not planning on using surfing information, probably not going to be the smartwatch for you because most of the features are going to be wasted on you. So you can have the you can have add your presets here. Um, this is kind of cool because you can go ahead. And, and do it based upon your location. So when you have that on there, that little location indicator, that means that it was, it was set um, based upon location. You can move these around. Um, I, I haven't spent all the time in the world here, but I think it's, I think it's interesting actually um, to, to, to learn this information um, about it. You have surf journal, like where you've sur surfed and things like that. I have surfed nowhere. I am a terrible non-surfer. Um, so it's, it's, it's cool stuff like that. And then you, so you get, the information from Surfline, which is uh, re remarkably robust, actually very cool. Um, I love I love having all this information. It's very interesting um, to see all that stuff. I don't know what I just did. I love how there's a button that apparently shuts it off. Okay, well there's that. Um, going back to Ultra Tide, um, these app, this 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 watch like literally just came out, so the uh, the apps are oftentimes new and. They update them as time goes on. So anyways, this is the Nixon Ultra Tide. Um, really impressed by it, actually. It, it works well. It syncs up with the app. You get the information right there. It's, it's definitely a niche item for a very particular purpose, but it appears to satisfy those things very well. And if you are a surfer and this information is of value to you, then I think the Ultra Tide is definitely going to be um, a surfing watch that you're going to want to get. Um, and it's definitely cool. And I like to see when companies create smartwatches with dedicated purposes that do it well. So it doesn't do everything, but it does the things it's meant to do well. Um, oh, and the screen is always on. So it's not the highest contrast screen in the world, but it is one that you don't necessarily need to turn on. There is, of course, a backlight as well um, for, for you to use. And um, overall, interesting. Um, I believe the retail price on the Nixon Ultra Tide is $300. Um, and you can see more on a blog to watch soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.